So in module three, we want to talk about some potential sustainable transportation solutions. So let's start with the, maybe the easiest thing is, you know, if we want to reduce energy and emissions related to transportation, let's look at the vehicles first, right? And this has been happening already where our vehicles are becoming more efficient, uh, more economical, and that's happening through a variety of different ways. We're, we're, our vehicles are, are lighter now, uh, and, and for the most part, they're smaller. And so we're still maintaining safety, but again, we're lightweighting those vehicles, and that's better when it comes in terms of the, of the amount of energy it needs and the amount of emissions that it produces. Um, we've also been improving the powertrain efficiency. We've been working on things like uh, hybrid electric drivetrains. We've improved the overall efficiency of using the energy and then translating that into movement. And then, as I mentioned a little bit, we are moving now towards this electrification of, of vehicles. We got electric drive trains, uh, we have hybrid vehicles, and even fuel cell vehicles, which put us on the right pathway in terms of lower energy use, as well as much, much lower emissions. So certainly working on the vehicles is one major way of uh, making our transportation more sustainable. Another method uh, deals with our fuels. Uh, this goes hand in hand with the vehicles. Um, we've typically used gasoline, diesel for many, many years, but we're looking at uh, new types of liquid fuels, uh, biofuels, synthetic fuels. Uh, we've looked at ethanol-based fuels, biodiesel. And again, this is one of the key solutions to reducing the carbon uh, uh, aspect of what we burn when we uh, move around with our, our vehicles. Um, mentioned electricity. Electricity is another important energy carrier that we can use for transportation, um, <clears throat> but we do have to look upstream and see how that electricity is actually produced. The other way is, of course, to look at traffic as a whole and maybe look at strategies about how we can reduce the amount of driving that we do, typically what we call VMT or vehicle miles travel reductions. And so we talked a little bit about that in Module 1 through better land use, better transportation planning, and maybe things like pricing and travel demand management techniques. But one of the things that we also want to look at is system operations. We talk about uh, traffic congestion. We talked about how we can look at that curve and move things from the low speeds and maybe move it down to where the uh, emissions related to the mid speeds is a much better way to go. And certainly one of the best ways to do that is through what we call intelligent transportation system techniques. And uh, that's been going on now for several decades, and it's a very uh, active research field now, sort of looking at connected vehicles and vehicle automation, which we'll dive into more detail. Um, if we go back to our curve about congestion mitigation, speed management, and traffic flow smoothing, ITS, or Intelligent Transportation Systems, has a number of techniques to do exactly that. Things like ramp metering, signal synchronization, better incident management, uh, things such as uh, uh, active speed uh, management, uh, things like that that can bring our speed slightly down when we are going too fast. Um, and then other things such as traffic smoothing techniques, variable speed limits, uh, and then uh, other techniques of what we call intelligent speed adaptation. So these are all specific technologies that we've been working on in order to reduce the amount of emissions and energy related to transportation. If you look at the smoothing techniques, you can see that the majority of that comes out at these mid to lower speeds. So this is really where the biggest potential is for gaining a CO2 benefit, reducing CO2 when we smooth out that traffic flow. 